Good morning, Ms. Norris. Thank you for allowing me to assess Amelia this semester. I want to start by telling you what I found in the classroom compared to the at-home assessment that you filled out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them at any point. There are truly no stupid questions. Okay, thank you. When you filled out your ASQ3 form, this was the first form you filled out out of the two, you stated that you didn't have any real concern for Amelia's development and had marked only a few things as not yet. Um, when I went through this form for her in-classroom behavior, I came up with about the same results and Amelia is developing as of right now um, at a typical 22 month old as she is 22 months old. That's great news. It is. In my opinion, she has a lot of strengths in her development, one of which is her communication skills. She is very bright and her vocabulary shows that. She knows well over the 20 words that most developmentally normal 22 month olds know and she is able to use them in multiple word sentences. This all means that she's doing great. She communicates well, not only with her parents, obviously you see that at home, but also with her everyday caregivers. She can also communicate with strangers, or really in her case, students that visit the classroom. She is able to communicate her wants and needs, but might need some assistance with communicating her feelings and her temperament when she is upset. What do you mean, what kind of special assistance? I'm sorry, that was not very clear. What I mean is that during my time observing Amelia, feeling, her feelings were mostly shared when she was upset by another child or really needed something. Toddlers are learning to be possessive and Amelia has certainly caught on. When she feels that another child might take something she is playing with from her, she will yell, mine, from the time the child is near her or looking at her until the time they have walked away or have looked away. When she needs help with something, she only yells, help me, help me, until someone comes to help her. These are developmentally normal statements, but I don't want them to get in the way of other children who want to play with her in the future. How can I help? If you give her different statements to use for these instances, that will help tremendously. She has the vocabulary to do so. And when she starts yelling mine, try and give her other options of things to say. Okay, that sounds easy enough. I think it will be, especially with how well Amelia communicates. I notice she can even hold conversations, both pretend and with other children. She loves pointing things out she finds interesting or asking questions about things she does not understand. Oh, I know. She loves pointing out baby dolls. Oh, yes. She does love her baby dolls and dramatic play. She also has strengths in her personal social development, but lacks some strength in her hand-eye coordination. Do you think that'll be a big problem for her in the future? No, because this is not even a really big problem now. I only tell you this so that you can work on it a little more and she should be just fine. I noticed that her hand-eye coordination wasn't great because she was struggling to use her hands for small object projects, such as stringing macaroni on a shoelace or small beads on a string. So this isn't something that she'd be concerned about now? No, I did not find anything in my assessment that would lead to me thinking Amelia needed extra help um, or extra support in any further assessments at this time. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you so much for all this information. No problem at all. Thank you again for allowing me this opportunity. I really enjoyed getting to work with Amelia this semester. She loves you. She thinks you're the best teacher she's ever had.